cost of that vote splitting, in addition to the blatant manipulation of results, was delayed as delayed change for the people of Zimbabwe in 2008. Ladies and gentlemen, it takes humble leadership to accept that one's mistakes, but it also takes bold leadership to correct those mistakes. It is in this respect that I am both re relieved and pleased to, to have to sign a memorandum of understanding with Professor Nguyen here present as the first step towards undoing the damage we caused ourselves. Today, Professor Nguyen and I will open a new chapter and craft a new political agreement that should see us harness and combine our known electoral strengths to face our common opponent as a united front. If anyone in this country expects us to contest the next election separately, as we did in 2008 and 2013, and they expect a different result. It will not only be a third moment of real madness, but the highest form of lunacy and insanity. And none, and none of us are insane.